hard on your bones out here. This rock, which has probably been here a couple million years, is not real easy on the wrists and ankles and butt when you fall. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Tell you what, Bob, summertime in the falls of Ohio, this is kind of a, a sight to see, and the opportunity to catch fish here is pretty crazy. You're really gonna take whatever <laughs> bites, right? I think so. So what do you think the potential is today? What type of fish? I think we could get on the, the stripers or the hybrid stripers, um, and hopefully we get into some blue cats today too. Drum, carp, gar, those are all possibilities as well, right? Maybe even see a sturgeon or a spoonbill swimming around. It's crazy, you know, th there's so many different fish that are moving up here this time of year. Everything's hot, there's not a lot of flow, but yet you've got oxygenated cooler water coming through. So if we can find us a good pocket, we may just smash them. Right, Jen? Yep. I'll just walk straight out in here, see how slippery it really is today. We've already seen a couple fish I'd like to catch. <laughs> what are you gonna start off with today? I think it's always a good bet running a swim bait and see what bites. Because okay. even the, the catfish will strike on the All swim right. baits. That sounds good. I got two tied on, so I'm ready for that. Well, I'm gonna leave this jacket and keep my fanny pack jacket on. Just grab what we need. We can always come back if we forget something, huh? Sounds good, yeah, we're pretty close. So which area you like to fish up here? Well, I like to find the groups of Asian carp. Okay. And then wherever the Asian carp are stacked up, kind of looking into the rapid, a lot of times your predator fish are underneath of them. Oh, uh, okay. So we're literally trying to focus finding the Asian carp. Yeah, they're pretty easy to pick out with that big dorsal fin. Have you ever fished with parts and pieces of these Asian carp? I have a lot of luck using the swim bladder. You know, a buddy of mine showed me that trick years ago. He took a swim bladder out of one. It's like fishing with a squid. It was, that was phenomenal catfish bait. <laughs> if we want to make some cut bait for a big catfish, we can go for that route. Yeah, can't go wrong. All right, let's, let's get out there and catch a fish. I don't know what this is, but it's uh -oh. it's strong. Oh, it's a, it looks like a big drum or something. Wow. Golly. Look at that. Is this thing got drag on it? <laughs> I need to let the drag. <laughs> oh, not that much. He wasn't going anywhere. That's a catfish there, I think. Oh, no. That was a catfish. Oh no. Down he goes. Here we go. What we got here? Gummy bears. Now look at that. That's an Asian carp hooked right in the mouth. Now it looks like that fish intentionally tried to eat that bait. Now, I'm not saying that he didn't, but these are filter feeders and really don't have a stomach system that is suited to eat a bait fish like that. I don't want to release this anyway. These are an invasive species. You mind taking the bladder out of that? Not at all. You okay. sure? Oh yeah, yeah. If we can get that out, we'll get one catfish line out here in a minute. All right, sounds good. Sweet, well, thank you. <laughs> that is why I'm letting him do the walking. He's got those felt bottom shoes on. <laughs> that was about bad. There'll be more of those to come, I promise you. I got a Carolina rig one ounce sinker here with a, a bead to kind of protect my knot down here above my swivel. A couple feet of, um, it's about 25 pound test and like a circle hook style. I'm gonna run uh, this swim bladder. It came out of an Asian carp we caught a few minutes ago. They really hook up well and they don't come off. Hopefully we get a few good fish out of this. What was that? I, I think it's a carp, but. Oh, still got him. It looks like air biters are cheap today. Look at that. That's crazy how there's, there's just that many of them out there as we're hooking them in the mouth. Oh. <whistles> Snap my line. Did he break you? Yeah, I had a good bite, actually. I don't know why the line broke, but. There we go. What do we got here? Oh, <laughs> you see that thing jumping? Make it real appealing, you know? If I was a big catfish, I would eat that. You would eat that? If I was a big catfish. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the 
buffalo, isn't it? God, it's a buffalo on this one. Everything up in there. <laughs> that took you downstream. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big Come fish. Come on, fishy folks. Look at the Asian carp jumping away from it. I see. Oh, man, that's a good one. Oh, this is going to be something to see if I can get this fish in. Oh, my gosh. He's way out there in that current. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It looks like a standoff. I swear, if you can't come down here and enjoy this, you just don't like fishing. We just gotta hope he wants to come this way, because this is about a 25 pounder, <laughs> and he's out there in that current. A little further, Bob's gonna need his Missouri fishing license. It probably won't be up to me. The fish gotta wanna swim this way to catch him, or I may get spooled right here. Oh, it just broke. Jeez. Well, my line snapped. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. goodness. What have I got? That's why I went and got the big rod. Man, I saw you hooked up. And I said, I better get a big stick. I ain't going to be able to handle a fish like that on that other rod. It hit hard. Just oh. ran straight for the current. It took me downstream with her. That's nice. It's hard to beat. Chad had one hit about like this a second ago. So I got a freshwater shark. Yo, oh my Chad, it's a big one. I think 15 pounds or better. Good Lord have mercy. Now you want to have some excitement. You come out here and get in moving current <laughs> and you hook one of those on a moving lure, you are in for a treat. Thank goodness that fish didn't hit on the other rig I had because <laughs> I would have had a heck of a ride. I brought the big stick out. got hooked. <laughs> that's a beautiful fish. God, that's a long nose gar. That's blue catfish, drum, gar, Asian carp, and a buffalo. <laughs> Golly. Gotta get some more gummy bears. Mouthful of gummy bears. Keep you going. Look at all of them. <laughs> half going down, half coming back up. They don't know where they want to be. Every cast I'm getting a bite, and it's just like a, just like playing roulette. Okay, what kind of fish is this going to be? That one is a drum. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. <laughs> Pretty fish, too, though. This is absolutely crazy how many catfish we're catching out of extremely shallow water. I can see these Asian carp fins in there, and these catfish are just sitting right below them, two and three feet deep. They're just so incredibly strong and fun to catch. I don't know how many we've caught today. We thought we might catch some hybrids. That didn't happen, but the water depth was absolutely perfect to catch a boatload of these blue catfish. And we've caught them all, almost all on swim baits and bladders out of these Asian cars. What a pretty fish. Well, Bob, I tell you what, this was an absolute blast. I appreciate you bringing me up. And I wanna know, how did you stay dry? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I think just the preparation, expecting to be wet, kept me dry today. Well, Bob, I say we pick up our rods and reels and gear. We got about a 200 yard hike. Hopefully we stay upright. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, get back in the canoe and head out. What do you think? That sounds like a good plan. Well worth the trip. Yeah.